Hello and welcome to Tuesday's Daily Prayers. It's good to have you join us and a special welcome to you if you're joining us on the phones. If this is your first time with us and you don't have the leaflet that we use, you'll find the words to the prayers in the box below this video. There is also contact details for Ian, our minister. Let's take a few moments to quieten our minds, our souls and our hearts as we prepare to come before God. We say together, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, in your love and power, you created all things out of nothing. By your eternal counsel and providence, you uphold and rule heaven and earth. Gracious God, you not only created each of us, but you sustain and form us with your Holy Spirit. We trust in you, God, our maker, Jesus, our mediator, Holy Spirit, our comforter. Now let's turn to the Psalms where today we are reading from Psalm 7. O Lord my God, I take refuge in you. Save and deliver me from all who pursue me, or they will tear me like a lion and rip me to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, if I have done this and there is guilt on my hands, if I have done evil to him who is at peace with me, or without cause have robbed my foe, then let my enemy pursue and overtake me. Let him trample my life to the ground and make me sleep in the dust. Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Rise up against the rage of my enemies. Awake, my God, decree justice. Let the assembled peoples gather round you. Rule over them from on high. Let the Lord judge the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, according to my integrity, O Most High. O righteous God, who searches minds and hearts, bring to an end the violence of the wicked and make the righteous secure. My shield is God most high, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, God who expresses his wrath every day. If he does not relent, he will sharpen his sword, he will bend and string his bow. He has prepared his deadly weapons, he makes ready his flaming arrows. He who is pregnant with evil and conceives trouble, gives birth to disillusionment. He who digs a hole and scoops it out, falls into the pit he has made. The trouble he causes recoils on himself. His violence comes down on his own head. I will give thanks to the Lord because of his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Amen. Now let us say the, the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now we continue reading from the Gospels and we're in Matthew and we're at chapter 8, verse 28. When he arrived at the other side, in the region of Gadernes, Two demon-possessed men, coming from the tombs, met him. 
They were so violent that no one could pass that way. What do you want with us, son of God? They shouted. Have you come here to torture us before the appointed time? Some distance from them, a large herd of pigs was feeding. The demons begged Jesus, if you drive us out, send us into the herd of pigs. He said to them, go. So they came out and went into the pigs and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and died in the water. Those tending the pigs ran off, went into the town and reported all this, including what had happened to the demon-possessed men. Then the whole town went out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they pleaded with him to leave their region. Amen. Now we turn to God in a time of prayer. We'll use the first prayer on the sheet which will be followed by a time of silence where we can lift before God prayers, people, things that are on our hearts. We pray together. Lord of heaven and earth, we praise and thank you for upholding and ruling over all creation. We trust in your never failing love, knowing that even in the hardest of times and most difficult of situations, you are at work bringing all things together under Christ. Therefore, hear our prayers, which we make in his name. We pray in silence. We continue together. You are the beginning and the end. All time is in your hands. All people under your care. Look with mercy upon our broken world, O God. And in your loving kindness, provide for our needs. Do not be slow in answering us, we humbly ask. And do not allow us to be slow in answering your call. To serve you in love and sacrifice. To the glory of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Christ, the Master Carpenter, who at the last through wood and nails purchased our salvation, Wield well your tools in the workshop of the world, so that we, who come rough-hewn to your bench, may here be fashioned to a truer beauty by your hand. We ask this for your name and for your sake. Amen. May the Lord of peace himself give us peace at all times and in all ways, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Thanks for being with us today. Hope you have a blessed rest of the day and hope you can come and join us again tomorrow. Bye for now and stay safe.